Alzheimer dementia is a form of dementia characterized by progressive damage to brain cells. Symptoms that signal Alzheimer disease are experiencing communication barriers, difficulty remembering, thinking allergically, impulsive behavior, insomnia, days, and concentration disorders. ALZI, Alzheimer Indonesian Association. It is known from LIZI. Data that Alzheimer's patients in 2016 were around 1.2 million people. It is estimated that in 2013, it will increase 2 million people and in 2015, it will increase to 4 million people. Sage leaves are a plant that can be found in fields and yards. The lemon grass is found in abundance everywhere. In Europe and China, sage leaves have been widely applied to manhunt and cosmetics as well as pharmaceutical industry purpose, as well as lemon grass. In Indonesia, this sage leaf plant is not widely known and used for alternative treatment, but lemon grass has been widely known and used for herbal treatment. After conducting several literature studies, I found that sage and lemongrass leaf can be used as one of the traditional medicines, ingredients that can be used as medicine for people with Alzheimer's disease. Based on this, there needs to be a deeper study of the benefit of sage and lemongrass leaf that can be used as Alzheimer's medicines. So in the case of this problem, we are proud to present our research utilization of sage leaf extract Salvia vaccinalis and lemongrass steam extract, Chimpopogon citratus, as candidates for Alzheimer's disease drugs by in silico and in vivo methods. I'm Kenisha Danasi Adelian Badea, and my partner is Tanya Tifia Azar, under the guidance of Mr. Suresh Gianti, SPD. We, we are from NTS1 Semarang City. In the main ingredients, we will use are sage and lemongrass leaves and 96% ethanol. The first stage is drying sage and lemongrass leaf. This stage is carried out by drying sage leaf and lemongrass in the sun indirectly. Then, the sage and lemongrass leaves are mashed using a blender until it becomes a powder. Maceration The second stage is maceration. Whole both sage leaf extraction and lemongrass extraction. In this extraction, research used 96% ethanol solvent with a ratio of 1 and 2 between the material and ethanol. After that, the filtration process is continued to separate the liquid extract from the soil. The next process is evaporation, process to separate the pure extract from ethanol. The third stage is pyrochemical test. The result of pyrochemical tests of sage and lemongrass leaves showed that the positive results, namely alkaloid Wagner, dragon germ alkaloids, flavonoids, terpenoids, and tannin. Ultrasonic nanoparticles aim to prevent the compounds contained from being easily damaged when heated. The number of sage leaf nanoparticles tested with particle size analyzer produced two peak waves, which means there are two particle size, while Azemer produced one peak wave, which means there is only one particle size. The diameter of the nanoparticle sage leaf is 142.2 nanometer until 432.7 nanometers. This result is good enough for drug delivery with a maximum reach of 552.5 nanometers. And the diameter of the nanoparticle lemongrass steam is 368.7 nanometers. This result is good. The fourth stage is in silica and molecular docking studies. This process was carried out to find out if there are target protein from sage leaf and lemongrass related to Alzheimer's disease through the NCBI PubChem. The fifth stage is the sage elimination. Based on previous research regarding the administration of Alzheimer's injection dose, it was obtained by administering ALCI3 injection of 300 mg. The dose given to male rats for sage leaf was 3.6 mg, while the dose of lemongrass was 7.2 mg. The sixth stage is in vivo and classification of test animals. Here are the research uses three variables. First, three variables, a combination of sage leaf extract and lemongrass leaf extract. Second, variable bound, concentration score of hanging tool. Third, Controller variables, rat species, rat weight, and rat feed. The research uses two controls, namely negative control in test animal after being inducted with Alzheimer was only given food and drink. Treatment control with a ratio of combination of sage leaf and lemongrass, 1 and 1, 1 and 2, 2 and 1. The last stage is testing stage with a balanced concentration test device. The treatment observed in this stage is a 3 minutes equilibrium time for 14 days.
data collection of active compound through phytochemical database. The compound obtained in six leaf organ granin, which is flavonoid group, and in lemon grass granule compound are obtained, which are derivative of terpenoid compounds. The analysis using DB database aims to analyze the interaction relationship between target proteins. Based on the analysis, it can be seen that the two ingredients have the same target protein interaction, namely NKFB1, protein related to Alzheimer. The study in silico molecular target was carried out to analyze the binding value of the inferential target protein between the active compound of sage and lemongrass leaf, wherein the protein is NFPP1. King carry out on the gangwanin and granial compound used Pyrex software. The result of more producing is the binding affinity between the compound and the target protein. The binding affinity of a ligand is measured by a negative score in scale or mole, where the lower the binding affinity value, the more stable it is. The interaction between ligand and the target protein is obtained as follows: binding affinity of gangwanin of minus seven point two and granule of minus four point five show that the docking results are declared valid with high accuracy. The result of docking compound in sage leaf and lemongrass with target protein showed that these compounds were able to provide anti-Alzheimer effects. This is shown by the result that the compound is able to target protein that play a role in Alzheimer. From the test result of the hanging concentration test in Alzheimer mice, it can be seen that the average time score of the mice before they fell from the hanging device in the treatment group it was 20.6 seconds and two mice did not experience tremor. Meanwhile, the second treatment group, the average time for rats before they fell from the hanging device was 270.6 seconds and only three rats experienced tremors. In the treatment group 3, the average time score of the mice before they fell from the hanging device was 22 seconds and only one rat did not experience tumors. Meanwhile, in the negative control group, the average score of the time the rats fell was 90.4 seconds and all experienced tumors. Thank you.